<laughs> Some night riders going through the wash. It's a lot of fun. We're just out here. We've got a fire going. Uh, we've got Jake here. We've got Scotty out there. Jen, Colleen, Dory, Glenn, and Janet's here. Hope I didn't miss anyone. Did I oh, and, and uh, Susan's here, and then a uh, new friend Je uh, Justin's here. So, just out sitting, having a nice fire. Wow, listen to them go off the coyotes. Yeah, this time of night, uh, somebody just said, better go shut my door. Yeah, you gotta keep your door shut this time of night. Last night they were so close, it sounded like they were eating something. I thought that they were real close in camp. Yeah, they did. And right back yeah. here. Last week they were over here. That was wicked. Yeah, I the know. Whole, the whole land lit up, the whole sky lit up. I don't know what it was, but uh, I'm assuming space junk, but. Yeah, we uh, were. There was like daylight for three seconds. Yeah, we were all sitting around the fire out here, and. All of a sudden, just looked like somebody turned the lights on outside. Some of us looked up, and we were able to see. Um, <laughs> did you see it, pumpkin? Did you see it? <laughs> uh, it just looked like um, a shooting star. Yeah. That was extremely low, and then it just burned burn out. Boom, gone. Yep. And of course, it disappears, and all of us are like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then, then we heard like it sounded like something hit the ground. Yeah. Now, obviously, it we're would be way long far ways away, away, but yeah. but really loud. Yeah. But um, we're all busy. Look yeah. at that. See that? But yeah, something so weird. So if you're something. in quartzite and you saw the, if you saw the the ground light up and something streak through the air in the yeah. sky, let us know. Yeah. Let us know. And if you did, if you found out what it was, let us know. Yeah. I'm Scotty, and I think it's probably space junk. Yeah. But so could the space be wrong. garbage that came down. Yeah. But I've never seen anything. I've seen lots of shooting stars. I've yeah. never seen it light the whole complete area up like the sun was out. It was for a short three tail. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. short tail. And then big it, a boom. I mean, it was yeah. gone. It, yeah. it exploded, whatever it was. That was wicked. Yeah. Cool. That, that's a, Wish that, I would have had a video of it, but we I was out there enjoying the fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the benefit of being able to sit outside in the clear yeah. sky. Yep. You know, so if you guys saw things. something weird in the sky, it is December 29th, and it happened, is Thursday. it the 29th? It's Thursday. Thursday. So I don't know what to, let's see, <laughs> Sunday is the I, I, 31st. I think it's, I think it's the 28th. Okay, 28th or 29th, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't know what my computer is. Uh, if you guys saw something in the sky, let us know. We're just curious now. We've been trying to look it up on uh, Google, but nothing has come out yet, so... Huh. I'm sure it was this space junk. Yeah, but I've never seen it. <laughs> I haven't either. But I've never seen space junk before. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen Space Jam, the movie. But... <laughs> January here, the 19th to the 21st, whatever weekend that is, uh, Lake Havasu City has the balloons uh, going oh, up Oh, that's again. right. Yeah. So we have our 40th anniversary coming up January 14th. That is our real anniversary. We celebrate too because we did a uh, renewal. Um, in the summertime. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know if we'll be in Havasu for the uh, festival or not. Here's something new going in. store and river sports is kind of uh new to a degree i know yeah. they've been here for a year or so but yeah we haven't really been here for a while jeez that's that's a new indoor storage area it says park indoor storage 
Well, there are a few new things going on in Parker. Look at the campers at Parker. I mean, at the Walmart. Holy yeah. moly. Everybody's stocking up. Yeah. Coming out of Quartzsite uh, towards Parker, we saw a lot of rigs coming in. It is going to start filling up. Wow. We're going to go to Walmart last because obviously we're going to go to the casino just for a little bit. And then uh, I don't want food sitting in, in the oh, truck. Oh. Look, they got something new going oh. on here. Maybe a super coffee shop. Maybe. It looks like it's a drive through coffee shop. Uh-huh. Uh, there have been some changes down at the casino when it comes to parking down there. They're now... Um, it's now a fee to park, and you can either uh, to camp. To camp. Right. Um, you can either camp down below at the water for a fee and have a cabana, or you can still do the dry camp. But, well, it's all dry camping. Or you can do the parking lot uh, area. And if you go on their website, you can see the uh, different prices. It's comparable to a uh, state park. 35 bucks um, I don't know if it's if, I guess there's probably a couple more prices too I'll try to leave it uh, at the end of the video if, if people are interested I don't even know what state parks cost anymore <laughs> well I know at home Washington State some of them are 35 bucks a site oh and that's, that's right not without even power. With any yeah, power our favorite spot is that way yeah yeah Alright, I'm gonna go in here. Wish us luck. Woohoo! Come out a millionaire. <laughs> I'm happy with being a hundred. Off our free play. Yeah. <laughs> We're not playing much, so I have a twenty dollar bill in my pocket and I've got some free plays, so that's about it. Then we gotta go shopping. Now somebody told somebody, <laughs> I don't know I don't know if the information's true or not, but somebody said that they were able to park somewhere around here for free up above here. I I don't know about that. Um, and actually, there's that no RVs empty. here. Wow. So. Usually that is packed. Yeah. They might. I don't know what's going on. They cut their throats. That's what they did. Wow. There's no RVs up here. Um, there's signs over there. You want to ride over there and see what it says? Let's go see. It says RV dry camping, but. I don't know. A lot of people are not going to pay that kind of money out here. There's just too much free land, you know. But I don't know. If you want to come here and you want to go in and have cocktails, dry camping information. Let's do that. If you want to come and have a couple cocktails and not drive, uh, then yeah, then you just pay like you do a campground. There's a I Baja would, racing truck. Maybe, it's, that maybe they're going to have that oh, coming up. I would do that because I'm usually a designated driver, so once in a while I like to have some fun. Let's see. So let me show you guys the prices. Uh, I don't know how my glasses are. Ooh, oh, that that's what I went in to grab. 55 yeah. per night. Or they have a week-long one. 70... I think I'm reading that right. I don't have my glasses on, you guys. But there you go. You can read it. Dang, I walked back in the house, too, to get my glasses. <laughs> we can share. Oh, well, you had All some. All right, well, there you go. That's the newest rule. Every time we come here, there's some kind of new thing. Well, we're not big millionaires. <laughs> Ain't going to happen here. No. Uh, well, yeah, I don't think you could be a... I don't know what their top jackpot is. Uh, anyways, we just uh, had a little bit of fun. Now we got to go grocery shopping. There is one RV up here. Uh, looks like they're going to pay for the night. Scotty did talk to one of the workers in there, and they said they haven't really had very good luck with their new uh, stuff, right? Their is new policy. New yeah. policy. So, anyways, let's drive down to the water, and let's see if there's anyone down there. I bet you this will get filled up more than the dry camping. Yeah, because I mean, I think for the few dollars more, why wouldn't you come up here? Yeah. Through the fence down there, there is, right down there, there is camping through there too, but that's part of the campground. There's a campground and then there's other camping along there. 
but you're right on the road, so. All right, well, this is what you get. You get the grill and a cabana and a table and waterfront. Okay, guys, we're gonna head out of Parker here and we've got one more spot to stop that we wanna show you. It's a new RV dump station here in Parker, so pretty excited about that. So let's pull in here and see what it's all about. Called Boondockers RV Station. God, he came in the exit only anyway. <laughs> but this is gonna be really nice. Scotty got so excited he jumped right out of the car and started talking to the owner and asked if we could just uh, give you guys a little tour of the area. It is brand spanking new, you guys. This is so nice. So the owner's name is Emmett and then I'm going to meet his wife over here in a minute. So hang on one moment. They do, uh, they've got the dump, the tank flush, the flush king and water. So explain those to me a little bit if you don't mind. Uh, the dump. Just your typical dump, dumping your tank. The tank flush is whenever you hook up with your water hose and you do your sprayers and you sit there and you flush your tank out. The flush king is just a device that goes on there. You actually backwash your tank. Okay. And with, you know, we know the capacity of the tank and we'll run that many gallons back in there and it flushes it all out. So that's just a pretty simple, simple device, but it works really well. Water, that's for filling your water. And it goes all on how many axles are on your trailer. Uh, and the hydro jet, the hydro jet's kind of our specialty here. We actually, okay. it's a high pressure hose that goes into your, the clean out, or your dump, and it runs up in there and cleans all your tank, all the debris, and almost makes it like new again. Yeah, people are interested in that, for yeah. sure. Yeah, that's kind of our specialty here for the price. Typically a mobile jet cleaner would be $200 to $400, and you can see the prices here. Yeah, these are great prices. $40, $45. Or if you come in, you get a hot combo done. That includes the dump and the hydro jet for $40, $50, $60, which is a really good deal. All the and way up to Deluxe. Yeah, you get the Deluxe, you get a dump, the hydro jet, and a water fill for $50, nice. $55, or $65. Okay, now we have to introduce you because you got on camera. <laughs> Bring her off from Emmett. Boondocks RV Station. Okay, and we are going to come back through and we're going to get his wife on camera sometime too. But she's over here and she's doing the firewood. So what do you guys do firewood for? How much is that? It's $20 for a whole wagon full. Okay. And eucalyptus firewood and it's real hard. Or, eucalyptus? Uh, yeah, it's real heavy. Does it smell? Can I, does yeah. it have a good smell? Well, yeah, it's, oh. it's heavy. It's, oh, it doesn't have a smell though, but yeah. wow, eucalyptus. Yeah, it's got That's kind of awesome. And, you know, a real dense wood. Yeah, it, it looks dense. And hot and right on. It's a good wood. It's not like your cheap pine from the store. Yeah, that, that kills my nose. All right, so they've got the wood. They've got the flush. They've got the water. And I'm going to tell you what. Bundling is the way to go. That's what you do. You bundle everything you want to do. Yep, that's the best way to do it. $55, you dump, you water, they clean your tanks. And you can get firewood here and propane. <laughs> oh, woo! Scare the crap out of me! <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the dump system. Yep. So what? All your hoses are in the gloves. Gloves? Oh my gosh, you guys nice. got it all set up. They even uh, have gloves for us, you guys. That's great. Your gloves, disconnect the hose, hook it up. When you're done, you put it back Oh, we don't there. have to use our own hose. Oh, Look at this, you guys. <laughs> you guys have us all covered. That's wow, and sanitized wipes. Yep. This is awesome. And what is this? That's for the hydrogen jet. That runs off. I got that conduit. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh so you don't even have to move around. You just pull in here. You can do it all right now. All right here. Are. If you're coming through Parker, Arizona, and you need propane, you need to dump, you need to get water, come support the new owners here at Boondockers RV Station. Thank you. Thank we you. appreciate yeah. you. Parker definitely needed yeah, this. Yeah, most definitely. Actually, Havasu needed this. And they all need this. <laughs> right. Hopefully you'll expand. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, that's what people are in here today. You guys got to go everywhere. Everywhere. Thank you. This is great. Thank you. This all right. Well, that was the most exciting uh, thing in Parker today. <laughs> that was really nice of them to kind of show us around and tell us about their uh, new business there. And it was nice to meet them. So, anyways, if you're, like I said, if you're going through Parker, go and check them out. It's a very nice establishment, and I think that uh, they're going to do really well there. So, go and, go and 
and support them if you're going through Parker. I love it. Very nice people. Just super deal. I think I got a little spun up because I get excited on the fact that, wow, I'm in Parker and I can actually do something here, not have to drive 30 miles to dump my tank and get water and everything. And I'm right on. Well, we made it home just in time to see this beautiful sunset. So next time we see you guys, it will be 2024. If you're out celebrating for the New Year's, please be safe. Have a good time. And we'll Put see you next year. Happy New Year's, everyone. Happy New Year's, everyone. And thank you for I'm all the support. Here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small, we can sit together.